Welcome back. Part two, we're testing the one and a half inch lens against the two and a half inch lens. On the last episode, we tested it on Romark acrylic. Saw some difference in detail. We're gonna do the same test and we're gonna run it on some powder coated tumblers. See what the results show us. Today on LaserNug. So the bolt's all ready, the pie burn grip is set up and I've got one of my teal wine tumblers in there. I picked Teal because he's got a kind of a really greeny blue type of a logo and that's about as close as I could get to it. It's a little light, but it's also kind of summery and summer's coming. So hopefully he and his wife will enjoy a few bevies on the back porch. I'm gonna go back into the exact same logo. I'm gonna remove the cut layer. I'm gonna set up my rotary for the right diameter. And then we're gonna apply my regular one and a half inch lens powder coat settings for tumblers. We're gonna burn it once. We're gonna take that tumbler out and clean it. And then we're gonna switch lenses again, put the two and a half inch in, and I'm gonna burn a second tumbler. And then we'll take a look at the results and compare. Also, if you've missed it, I'll put a link to the video here, but I did a number of different tests on circular logos on different size tumblers. And I found that width adjustments vary depending on the taper or the type of tumbler. So on this type of a tumbler, you may recall that about a five to 7% width adjustment made for a really nice visibly round circle. So I'm gonna adjust his logo by 6%, just a width adjustment only. I'm also gonna put a taper warp on it now that we have that functionality in Lightburn. And then we're gonna finish the regular setup, apply my settings for one and a half inch lenses, send it to the bolt, and let's engrave our first tumbler. Okay, let's clean this up. One and a half inch lens. Pretty circular. I kind of liked it at six, but I think I'll put it back to five or possibly four because it does look just a tiny bit stretched. And I don't know if that's just a combination of the taper warp as well as my width adjustment, but it's it's pretty close, pretty bang on. And the detail came out pretty nice. I find that teal color always tends to engrave better than some other colors. Teal and black tend to give you almost the best results so far. Let's swap out for the two and a half inch lens and run it again. So I took a few minutes. This is the one and a half inch lens. This is the two and a half inch lens. And very similar results to what we saw with the Romark acrylic on the last video. This guy here, more detail, clearly more detail. 
the exhaust pipes are defined, whereas here you can barely discern the exhaust pipes on top. It's very faint. You can see the slight tread marks on the front tire here, but no tread marks on these tires again. The other thing you may have noticed is similar to the results we had with the Romark, the one and a half inch tumbler came out of that bolt. It was just full of debris and residue. And this tumbler with the two and a half inch, much less debris or residue to clean off. Cleaned up twice as fast at least as the cleanup time it took me on this tumbler. But once again, you may have noticed the laser is flaring up or there's much more flare up when it's engraving at the two and a half inch lens. But here's where the real kicker for me is. The established 2021, these tiny little words here, crisp, clear, and easy to read. Established 2021 here, very blurry. You can kind of make it out, but they're crisp and clean letters, every one of them on the one and a half inch lens. So there we have it. Not exactly a scientific test. And the worst part of this is I don't have the experience to explain to you why, but it does appear 100% that the results, at least with two different types of material, is that if you're engraving something that has a lot of really finite detail to it, you wanna use your one and a half inch lens. If you're engraving just general logos like my GP Outdoors logo, or something that doesn't have a lot of really tiny detail, the two and a half certainly may flare up a bit on those same settings, but the cleanup is twice as fast. So I assume there's some kind of parallels or conclusions we can draw from that, but at least I've hopefully given you a chance to see the difference in the engraved quality or the way it engraves swapping out those two lenses. And I hope it's been helpful for you, especially if you're new to the bolt or new to lasers. I appreciate you sticking around. I'm gonna update my library with the new cut settings for the 1 8 inch Romark. And I'm going to clean up my lenses and my mirrors just before I wrap up today. And I'm going to pack these up and send them off to my buddy. <laughs> I really appreciate him giving me his logo because I knew it had much more detail than mine does. Have a great week with your families and please be kind to each other. And I hope to see you again right here. I'm Gord Potter and you've been watching Laser Nug. Cheers. <laughs>